good morning. Uh, I guess it's snowing. Hopefully the roads aren't too bad because uh, like I told you guys the other day, this is the last truck stop before our delivery, but uh, it's 36 degrees out, so hopefully it's fine. It's not really, I don't know. Just kind of slammed on the gas. Also, we're in the truck stop, so the roads are gonna be a little bit colder in the truck stop than the ones on the interstate. But this heated seat is overpowered, no cap. I keep cussing, bro. My butt is super warm. Um, every every morning, and like you know, like the truck stops are uh, kind of hot, not hot, cold, because the truck wouldn't have idled. This is gonna be our test right here if the roads are gonna be safe. This is really steep. I feel like I've been to this Loves before, dude. I don't know why. Cause I'm pretty, it was a while ago, but I'm pretty sure I had to park like down by the fuel island cause there's no parking here whatsoever. Man, I didn't, why is it snowing bro? We're in literally, we're, on, we're in North Carolina. I didn't know North Carolina got snow. Winter weather advisory. Tune to local media for more info. Oh my gosh. I don't know, it seems like we might be okay. I don't know, it's uh, it's not really spinning and we're pretty heavy. And this is obviously pretty steep because we are losing a lot of weight going up this. I don't know, we really ain't gonna have much of an option though, so. I think maybe there's a couple, uh, a couple uh, rest areas. Also, I'm pretty sure I just saw a snowplow because there's like yellow lights flashing up here. Here. All right, well, we're getting back towards the interstate. Uh, we're supposed to be there by 10 15 this morning. Um, if the roads are fine, it's less than three hours, so we should be there at like 9 20. Appointments at 9 15, but there's an hour before and an hour after. So I woke up at 6. 10 and then I wanted to let the truck warm up just a wee bit woke up so I mean it's 182 miles which is under three hours so I don't know why it's saying t uh, 10 a.m. but I guess if the roads are kind of slick people are gonna be really timid out here driving because they're just really kind of clueless of how to drive honestly when I woke up this morning I was not expecting snow um, to me this like it's snow obviously but it's also 35 degrees so i'm just gonna stay off the brakes here i know we're getting going a little fast but this uphill here is really gonna slow us down anyways so i have the j or the engine brake off uh because roads are a little wet you're not supposed to use them in rain even so i don't know i just shut them off because i just didn't want to like have something bad happen but uh yeah I've, i think once the sun comes up the snow will be a little less uh like there because it will turn into rain um but we probably still have like another hour before an hour or two before the sun comes up so uh yeah but last night because today's sunday so last night was spring forward so I was like, man, if they didn't switch the clocks, it would've been fine, but, you know, the clock has nothing to do with actual time. So like, no matter what, this still would've happened, right? Like I wouldn't, I may have drove when the sun was up, but this stuff would've already fell, you know? So I was like, 
Well, never mind. I guess that doesn't really do anything for me because, like, maybe, I mean, I don't know how if it's going to come down heavy or anything, but, um, you know, in the actual realm of time, that's not factored by standard of human time, you know, what, what would have happened if I would have waited another hour and a half to drive, you know what I mean? Because then the sun would have been up, but... I don't know. The roads are pretty fine right now. I'm, there's not really any buildup on the roads, so I'm just going to go ahead and get over. Although this guy's going to make it like, I don't like that because there's a curve up here. You always want the inside of a curve just in case because like, say it's like slick or something, bro, and you slide out a little bit. Well, you got that extra lane to try to save it. Now we're doing 70. Oh my goodness. All right guys, so we made it to the Walmart DC. Our appointment was at 9.15, not 6.15 like the other guys said it was at that place I got picked up. I thought it was kind of weird that, you know, where I picked up my load from, you know, they were gonna have an appointment time on the bills. I've just never seen that before. We're going to door 153 here. We gotta slide the tandems to the rear, it's raining. Uh, slide the tandems to the rear, open the trailer doors of course, and then we gotta walk down to the building and give them our paperwork, she said. So uh, we're gonna wait on this Walmart truck here. It's kind of, aw, oh, dude, he's gotta go open the doors, bruh. All right, cut scene. Well, I guess if he's gonna open his doors, I might as well do the same, right? <laughs> Let's just go get that done. Since we gotta wait on him to back in and all that stuff. Go ahead and pull our release arm. Don't forget this trailer doesn't have those uh, arm things, the little rubber seals. I wish it wasn't raining though, bro. Ugh. It started snowing this morning. I knew it was gonna turn into rain. Oh, he's not even in the... Oh, stuff fell out of his truck, dude. Damn. i never seen that before. Damn. Oh, what even are those? Batteries? Nah, he's picking those up too effortlessly. They can't be batteries. Dang, dude. And then we're going into door 153, which should be pretty easy. I'm not gonna slide the tandems till I get into uh, the dock, but you guys saw I already pulled the release arm. I tend to do that, and then like, when it's getting unloaded, I'm not even gonna lock it in either. Cause like, once I leave, I'm gonna slide them forward, right? So I just do that other part. I do need to get some fuel. I'm down to a quarter of a tank, bro. I'm guessing 153 is pretty far down here though. Dude, that's gonna be a fat walk to turn in my paperwork through the rain, but that's okay. We're losing weight. We probably need to exercise occasionally. I probably better throw my seatbelt back on, even though I'm definitely not gonna like, if I got in a wreck, which knock on wood, I don't, I wouldn't die if I got in a wreck at 10 miles an hour. Probably wouldn't feel the best. This guy just pulls out right in front of me, you know? Oh, I think I actually, I gotta drop it. Do I gotta drop it? While it's in the dock? She didn't... Oh, it does say disconnect from the trailer. Dang, dude, I gotta drop it? Are you kidding me? That sucks. It's more work. It's all right, it makes it easy. Or it doesn't make it easy, but... That's okay, I guess. That's okay. That's okay. 153, so it's coming up here. 
go ahead and hog this side over here. Looks like the wheels have, looks like the one wheel goes on the line. Let me go down one more. There's a yard jockey coming. I'll wait on him. That way I'm not being in his way. Dang, bro. That's a small door. Yard jockeys, they just slam stuff around. It's hard to see back there. see that Walmart driver was texting while he was going down the bro, I cannot see these lines bro I mean I guess that's gonna do Oh, there's the door. <laughs> okay, let me pull this. I better wait for this to release. We're looking pretty straight in the line, so I'm just gonna back it up and dock it real quick. We gotta drop it. All right, that should work there. All right, so read this again. Chalk the wheels, disconnect from trailer, bobtail to parking, shut off tractor. All right, well, we're gonna disconnect. I will uh, get back with you guys here in a little bit. And these yard jockeys be dropping everything out of their trailer. I don't know if you guys see that one over there. That stuff was about to fall out the back of his trailer. Um, but anyways, we got a text that our trailer was done being unloaded. Um, so we're gonna go hook up to that. Um, then once we get that, we're gonna pull it out. Um, and then there's like a Loves in like 50 miles, but uh, there's like not very many parking spots. And the re reviews for this Loves is awful. Like they literally are like, Worst gloves in America, do not go here, all that stuff. So, uh, like, I can stop there with like no parking spots, or I can just drive another 15 miles and there's like a Petro. Um, so, I'm probably gonna just head over to that Petro because that Petro is gonna have, um, it's like a good review there. So, here's our empty. are empty see the light oh there's a light to my I got a green light so I gotta drop it though dude I hate having to drop the empties especially when you're in a dock but ooh we need to slide over to the right just a little bit here just a far shift there for that to shift over all that way Oh, no, 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 no. See, that's bad, too. Let me come over to the right here. 
here. I've said it before, but you want about three inches. There we go, that works out good. All right, tug test it real quick. So we're going to go hook up to it and then we're going to head out of here. We made it to this uh, Petro here in, oh, I can't remember, like Kenny, Kenny, North Carolina or something like that. Uh, it's part of the Iowa 80 chain. So I'm going to have to go inside and check it out because it, it looks pretty sweet. They got like trucks, like they got like the, it's not the museum, but they got like the display of like two trucks or whatever. It's pretty common at the Iowa 80. Um, so we're going to find a spot to park here hopefully it's a sight side because i really don't want to do a blind side there's a sight side right there it's, i'm set up wrong for it but i think i'm gonna or no that's not one i'm gonna take that one right there so i'm gonna come down here make a u-turn or is this one this is one here we'll just do this one all right Uh, hit this back real quick what's gonna happen though is I know like I'm first on the board right now so I know as soon as I get parked I'm gonna get a load it's always what happens That's exactly what's gonna happen. I'm on the phone with Derek right now. I told him I gotta end the video, but uh, he was like, what's gonna happen is, oh, this sucks. I gotta, uh, he was like, what's gonna happen is they're gonna dispatch you to that, like 10 miles away from where you were. Cause I just drove 65 miles away from that place I delivered and you only get, you don't get paid for like driving this far to park or you don't get paid to like go to a truck stop so he's like they're gonna dispatch you to we gotta fix this we're too close i mean I, i'm gonna i can back it up but you only get paid for like miles going to loads or like picking up loads so like you know I, i'm gonna get a load that's like 10 miles away from where i picked up but i'm gonna have to drive like you know maybe 75 miles or 55 miles to go get it but I'm not gonna get paid I'm only gonna get paid for 10 miles so but I know one of you truck drivers that have been driving for a while is gonna be like yeah that's trucking for you buddy but it's really not how it should be so All right. um so yeah we're just gonna park here for the night hopefully this isn't reserved I didn't even look I doubt it is Um, can't really see that other trailer back there. I think this is good enough. All right, guys, it's currently uh, bedtime. It's uh, 11 p.m. at night. Uh, this is our bed. Um, we got a little foam topper, I guess. I guess I can show you guys that. This mattress is okay. This foam topper makes it legit, okay? Um, my toothbrush i already brushed my teeth i already got all all that stuff ready and obviously the top bunk's messy it's i just throw all my clothes up there sweatpants and sweatshirt shower bag uh, i use this rag for like toothpaste bro it's kind of nasty or this shirt you know it's kind of like it's whatever it's like really thick waterproof material i don't know why but this corner keeps popping up on my bed sheets right i don't it just always pops up anyways we're gonna get into bed here um like you know it's late at night gonna watch some south park chillax hit the hay because every day's a okay when you're riding with jay uh, make sure you guys hit that like button i don't know if you can make sure you guys hit that like button subscribe for future content we'll see you guys in the next one peace come on everything is a okay when you're riding with jay Keep those wheels turning and we do this every day Backing up a trailer, look at all the roads I've driven Come and ride with me, yeah, let me show you how I'm living Come on